Today's Bible study is titled Complete in Christ, Beware Deceit, Part 2. Colossians 2 verses 4 to 10 speaks to the simplicity of the completeness of the gospel believer. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4 death, burial resurrection of Christ, according to the scripture. But it also addresses life thereafter as well, with a warning that the believer be not deceived and thereby cheated. Yesterday we looked at verses 4 and 5, and we will continue with verse 6 today. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. Colossians 2 verse 6. The preface of this instruction begins with a therefore, more particularly, as ye have therefore received Christ. It begs the question, how does one receive Christ, which is defined as follows. The gospel by which we are saved during this dispensation of the grace of God is stated in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4, so there can be no doubt of its content. It is simple belief of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, according to the prophetic scriptures. Further, we know that salvation by simply believing the gospel is by grace through faith, Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9. So the answer is one receives Christ in simple belief of the gospel by grace through faith. With this as a given, let's look at this more closely. The first attempt at deception by our enemy is typically to seek to complicate the simplicity of receiving Christ as Savior. Usually this is an attempt to deceive a person into thinking something more than simple belief is required for salvation. Until one comes to complete, immovable, rested belief in the absolute security of their salvation by belief of the gospel. Deception is likely and growth in grace stymied. So, what about the walk thereafter? Well, the instruction of today's verse, Colossians 2 verse 6, is to walk in him in the same manner as we received him. So that walk would be a continuance of simple belief by grace through faith. But belief of what? Glad you asked. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.